got a lot on his shoulders tonight. 20-year-old Ferry Regas of Belgium. And he starts by burying an ace. And if that's how he means to carry on, let's see if Bentara can find his serving boots. He can. Great pass. Oh, that's genius. Augustine Losa. He whips it into play. Solid pass from Kolachi. And again, Bentara. Liam Sketcher out, but he can put a lot of topspin on it. And it's generally tricky to pass. Trouble again. Oh, good save from Ishikawa. Earns himself a second swing and plants it on the floor. Steady from the Japanese superstar. And it's worked for him a lot this season. Fans adding to the atmosphere. Good block touch, well defended by Plotnitsky. And Bentara makes his way out of the back line to another point. A little late to get his hands over the net that time. Semenya, good serve. Catania gets Poro into play. And they use that Ishikawa pipe. And I tell you what, Flavio's been waiting for that for the whole of the set. Fast offense on the perfect pass. Three-point lead is good, but two aces from Regas helps. Not going to come from that, though. Oh, wow. And Flavio is properly turning it on. He's contacted in the match. Kaziski then to try and save the day. Oh, ho, ho, ho. just when you think you've seen it all from Matty Kaziski. Two in a row. This for three. Oh, he's bounced it on the baseline. If Russo puts this one in with heat. Milano have got to defend this. No, they cut him, and Russo serves it out. 27-25. In comes Wilfredo Leon. And that's the problem that any team playing Perugia has. It's a good serve. Oh, wow. Well, Polo, four points up, should feel a little more relaxed for Yuki Ishikawa's serve. It's a good hit. Is that just found the corner from Bentara? Regas doesn't think so. Fortunately for Perugia, it clips the line and they get to serve now. The pass, Ishikawa. Kaziski goes off the fingers, defended well by Semenyuk on that angle, and Wilfredo Leon is roofed out of sight by Lusser. Manage this test for Perugia's side. This is not a situation that they're familiar with. Overpass, dispatched, and Leon's inclusion. In Going up to try and hide Paolo Porro's smaller block away. Bentara, next serving demand. Catania with a great pass. A little delayed on the set from Porro, and it just gave the blockers a chance to react and get into the air. Bentara has hit a couple of them, and that's a big serve as well. That's tight. And very, very well done. What a tempo ball from Poro to Ishikawa. 22-19. Milano managing the situation well. Oh, that wasn't the best from Gianelli, but what a cleverly crafted shot from Camille Semenyuk. Picked that ball through the block and down. Semenyuk serves. It's a good one. Milano's pass is going pretty well here. And it's just giving Poro options to at least get a little bit of daylight for his hitters. Yuki time, as I believe you called it in the quarterfinals. Oh, it's another cracking serve. Paolo Poro has managed to hit the middle blocker with his service about five times in this second set. 12-10 up, Perugia find themselves in this situation. Cracking serve. Kolachi makes the pass just. Leon is blocked. Coverage is good from Semenyuk. Bentara gets it past. Fabulous defense from Milano. And again. Peruja swing once more. That is not where Leon wants the ball, I can tell you. That is not his window. And he's done very well to get the point. In off the bench, but getting a lot of opportunities. Here's a great swing from Bentara, but Poro with an amazing one handed dig 
to extend the rally. Perugia able to score the point. Another quality cover there. And Milano still with three more chances here to win this set. A massively important set for Milano. Is, is it just a little kick up the backside for a team? Might work like that for Perugia here. Lovely set. Oh, what a set. Over that distance on the reverse to still get it to the hitter and give him an op. Sometimes it works out. Pazisky forced to set. Ishikawa does what he does so well. Gets the reuse. <laughs> oh, stunning. Oh, brilliant volleyball. This is amazing. And now Perugia have control. Well, some kind of control. And Semenya has missed his shot. Well, that would have been just a classic finish to a classic rally. But it's Milano that win the point. Forty's still able to snap it back to the corner for the point. Never backed off that hit. That was incredible. Shikawa, ball behind him, finds a very nice tip to create the point for Milano. Marco Vitelli missed on his last service visit. Actually, his disappointment. Goes jump float, catches Kalachi out down the line. And very well done. Semenyuk isolated, blockers were all over. Semenyuk showing that the superstars can get down and dirty in defence. And they are doing a bit of a number here on Yuki Ishikawa. He's uh, not just all service points, but getting Perugia out of system is sometimes just as good. It's Kalachi this time, that's a better pass. And Bentara rips the cover off it. From the back row. That is incredible. Easy. It has been very noticeable in this match. So, Flavio is the best of the middles though on seven. Solid pass. Wow. What a lineup. Vitelli and Regas reading. Did you need this point? Another cracking serve. Way out of system. Bentara. Are you kidding me? How on earth did he find the court? Maybe not the strongest serve to have three set points down. Vitelli puts it into play well. But that is just unstoppable. Perugia keep it simple and keep it perfect at the end of set three. Nice pass again from Semenya. It comes out of the back line on that tempo. I mean, that is as fast as it gets. Yeah, that is. Now, four aces. Oh, it's another brilliant shot. Gianelli saves it. Bentara tips middle. Catania read it early. And Milano have re reacted brilliantly there. And again, Catania, what a dig. That is stunning volleyball. Another chance from the service line. That little bit of damage has been repaired by the team in red. Another great pass from Kaziski and another middle play. Agustin Loza, now you see him, now you don't. Handy time for Milano and if they can stay with Perugia, we will see. It's a good serve from Vitelli, might have been going long. But Plotnitsky played it, and that's, that's a good pokey defence from the big middleman. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> this is mighty close. He thought he was on it. He really did. Nice serve. Net helps Kaziski. Oh, wow. Well, if Regas is going to miss a ball, it's that ball that he drags. Russo to try and put his team back on level terms. That's a great serve, solid pass. And once more, Porro forces the middle and Lossa a 22 all. Plotnitsky, big serve now. It's a great serve, Megarejo getting targeted. Regas hasn't had a hit for a while and he's stopped. And that's the problem with keeping your big players in rhythm and Perugia have managed to press the button at the right time. Ferry Regas to serve. Who gets the set from Gianelli? 
this time not to the middle and it doesn't produce the point Regas defends and again oh brilliant from Regas and Catania off the block Regas now the hero oh what a shot what a shot oh, from the end on camera you saw what a great play that was Kaziski with the serve Perugia in trouble this for the set then and that is a stunning kill. Semenyuk had an idea. The idea how Semenyuk was able to see the court and realize that it was open for him to swing through and aggressive and just smart. We tell he will fancy his chances here. I don't think he'll be backing off. No, he is. Easy pass for Kalachi. Force middle. Beautiful read from Lossa. And we are going to five in game two. It's two all, and Milano, brilliant. Gets called at set point, but Losaire gets the block to seal it. What a move there into the scene. Terrific move, but a very risky set at that point. And Piazza celebrates another quite marvelously in. Change up. Looks like Zonta's into the action. Which means that Petr Derlic is also being used. Milano need this. They need to move towards Potter serving. It's a good serve. Ishikawa passes it. Regas hits it hard off the hands. Defended brilliantly by Perugia. What a great risk to take from the Perugia defenders and it's paid off. To quote the film Caddyshack, that was a peach hunt. Good defence. Great work from Plotnitsky off the block. Semenyuk goes again. And the line shot that let him down earlier. Losser to serve. Puts it into play, no more. And Flavio targeted. What a pick up from Poro. It's coming back as a freebie though. Peruja go again. Blockers overcommit. And it just leaves all the space in the world for Kamil Semenyuk. Hit this ball hard. He does. It's out. Well, they're going to challenge. Referee says out. Piazza says in, and he's been pretty good tonight with his calls. Match point, Perugia. Defended by Leon. This for the game. Plotnitsky can't put it down. And again, Plotnitsky defended again. Leon bumps him, third swing, and defended by Ishikawa. This to stay in the match. Oh, Regas is blocked out of sight, but it's out of court. Managed to get enough on that. Gianelli into play, good pass, Kaziski. And that is an audacious piece of setting from Paolo Porro. That's the... Can he deliver? Oh, it's a super service. It's trouble. Regas murders it. 30 points for Ferry Regas, and that might be the hit horror to serve. It's a cracking serve. Semenyuk is touched by the block. It's in play. It's in play. Regas doesn't put it down. Perugia can still stay in the match with Bentara, and they do. The chance has gone for Milano temporarily. And Ishikawa's turn now to serve big. He goes big. Good pass from Perugia and good middle. Flavio's back into that front court and GNF. Off the tape. Perugia attacking system. Block is red. And that is it. Milano close it down for a quite remarkable win. And we go one game apiece in this incredible semi-final. Well, if we're honest, Matt Prosser, we were running out of superlatives. We were running out of words. That was.